YouTube. What a world we live in now, man. There's a lot happening. COVID-19, some of us are working, some of us aren't working. If you're like me, you're working and not working. Um, it's been a lot going on. I hope everybody's safe. I hope, uh, hope everyone's finding a way to utilize this free time that we all have. I'm gonna start my quarantine project right now. I've been collecting a lot of parts. Got a back bumper, got a sway rear sway bar, Z06 sway bar, and I got some wide fenders and some spacers to go with them. So I'm not gonna do much talking. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cars set up to go ahead and start working on this vet. Probably should have loosened up the lug nuts before I lifted it up, huh? Uh, rookie mistake. All right, so let's talk about what we got going on over here. I got this back bumper with the molded spoiler. It is from CorvetteCreations.com. The bumper itself is from KBD Urethane, KBDBodyKits.com. So I'm assuming Corvette Creations gets it from them. The rear sway bar is from a C5 Z06, 24 millimeters thick. They were generous enough to leave the end links on there, but I already have some, so I'm not gonna use these. Uh, and they have the brackets and the rubber, so that's good. I recommend, instead of buying the aftermarket, unless you plan on racing the car, just go ahead and getting Z06 sway bars. I already have a Z06 sway bar on the front and it's amazing, it made a huge difference. I've also already installed Z06 leaf springs on front and back, and C6 Z06 shocks that you can easily get on eBay or rockauto.com. It's an install that I was able to do myself at the swamp house in the dirt. So I think that, you know, most likely you should be able to do it too. So if I can do it, you can. Um, but anyway, to the wide fenders. I got them online from Corvette Creations, but the package said it was from Carbon Creations. So once again, shout out to all those companies for making good stuff. And now I'm about to find out if it fits and figure out how to install the shit. Cause once again, as always, I have no idea what I'm doing. And then for the fitment that I've wanted from the little bit of research I've done, I wanted 1.5 inch spacers. This is from uswillspacers.com. And I think that they'll fit nicely with this two inch extension from the side of the quarter panels. And these already poke slightly and I rub a little bit back here not as often these are like drastic cir circumstances like you know huge bumps or something like that is when it usually rubs and very hard turns the tire will flex over and it'll rub a little bit but we won't have those problems anymore Alright, so getting the wheel off turned out to be pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is, see I already put brand new sway bar end links in here last time I was back here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the sway bar here and over there. It's, sway bars are really easy to do. 
um, on these cars, believe it or not. Well, most cars. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock that out. And I'm gonna also start disconnecting the inner fender. Uh, there's a few spots here and there that need to be taken out. And then there's a couple of Torx bolts that need to be taken out. Uh, and also there's more right here. And then I'm pretty sure I need to pop out the headlight or the tail lights and reach in. But since the back bumper is coming off also, it's not going to be that difficult. I think I can just take the whole back bumper off and call it a day. So let's uh, go ahead and get to it. where things get a little trickier if you can see in there there's a little bracket where the two fenders the, the bumper and the fender connect uh, from what I've seen the first thing I grabbed was a 5 16th and a 10 mil to get all of these off a couple of them are bolts some of them are basically hex headed screws so Go and get those out. All right, so last bolt. I had to lay my box out. Boxes are one of the most underrated tools out here at the swamp house. All right, there are two more bolts right here that I need to reach from above it seems. I don't know how I'm gonna get there. Yeah, right there. Hmm. I'll have to see what I can do. You wanna talk about awkward, tedious, annoying. These two fucking bolts unnecessarily long gotta find them with your eyes closed this is still the first one oh jeez one down I got lucky to second bolt came off finger tight so let's see if I can do this mm -hmm. something still holding on what did I forget probably need to use two hands so I will be back and it's off I just needed to pop this out and then I needed to push the back bumper back a little and pull the fender this way and it popped right out I wonder what this is 
This was sitting here. I had to pop it out so I can get to these two screws or bolts or whatever. <clears throat> so now the fender is off. I've got to unbolt the, the light and then I have to make holes for the light and all of the torch screws that go around the top and measure and make sure that these little indentions here line up properly not sure how well you can see that right now but yeah there's the little indentions right here i gotta make sure pretty sure there's supposed to be three i only see two gotta measure it off of this fender and then drill those holes out onto this fender i wish they were pre-drilled because i'm not a very good not a very precise person but you know to get you know the thick the thick booty you're gonna have to work for it i guess real quick i took the inner fender out finally because i forgot and look at all of the dirt in here that's crazy I mean, I guess if that's 20 years of dirt, that's not that bad. But that's a lot of dirt. Wow. Look at that in there. More dirt. Dang. Alright. So, I'm having difficulty figuring out the best way to get these measurements onto the quarter panel at first i thought i was going to measure it on the regular fender the stock one and just do the measurements put the holes in put it on but it's not that simple so yes that fender is pretty close to what the stock is but it doesn't line up exactly the same so the same measurements won't line up so i gotta figure out how to do it I don't know how. All right, I got this one on. I had a little bit of struggle lining these up properly. As you can see, I had to start down here because this was the, the worst spot to line up. Uh, I needed to make sure that this gap was acceptable. And you know, this sticks out a little bit, but I managed to drill the hole in I still got to do this hole it goes in this area somewhere I got to do this one and then I had a problem lining up up here this is fine but now I'm not perfectly lined up down here but I was able to get this one in just fine and it's holding pretty tight so I may or may not try to get this screw in just for the security, but these are probably not gonna go in because they are um, a little too far misaligned. But uh, as for gap so far, the door looks pretty decent. It's obviously not perfect, but the worst right now is the trunk so it starts off okay and then it gets a little wide over here it's very wide actually like i can get a whole finger in there i can get my whole hand in there so but i will say that if i was gonna have any gap anywhere it would i would definitely prefer it to be here instead of here and there on the bumpers so once i pull the bumper back out it'll line up great right there so it looks great i'll have to take it back off get these holes drilled in get the other two holes drilled in get this hole drilled in and then this one is done it's on there not too bad all right Got the side marker thingamajig light in. 
I had to pre-drill the holes also. That wasn't too bad. I just had to make sure the holes were big enough so I can line this up a little bit better. Uh, you know, you gotta be careful with this stuff because <clears throat> you could mess it up. So I need to get these two holes done. Right here. All right, so I've successfully gotten one side in. I'm gonna, next I'm gonna get the back bumper off and I'm gonna go ahead and take off the other side. I should be able to knock that out real quick. I don't know if I'll get the back bumper done today. We'll, we'll see. Um, but I, I have to figure out how to do the rest of it. It's, it's a little different. So I'm gonna go eat cause I'm starving. And then I'm gonna time lapse what I have to do on the other side so you can actually see me work. By the way, last time my dumb self went through the the tail lights up there and reached through there to undo these two bolts when all I had to do was take the fender liner, the inner fender off, and freaking I can reach it right there. So So I'm kind of stuck. I don't know what the hell these are. They must be some kind of rivet, but I can't get them out. There's nothing behind. <sighs> don't want to break anything. So I'm just gonna go move on. I guess I'll have to go get the fin go get the uh, other quarter panel drilled and ready to go instead of messing with this for now. gas cap turned out great especially because I winged all of it <sighs> look at that I got all the holes done pretty well I'd ended up making one extra one because I thought the the four holes needed to go inside, but it needed to go outside. And that's because I wasn't paying attention. I was moving too fast. But as you can see, it is all lined up. Look at that. Bam. Nice. I was worried. I'm not going to lie. I was worried that that wasn't going to line up right. But it did. So. I'm going to go ahead and button this back up, make sure it lines up well all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these screws in up top. And then this is basically done. So let's get to it. All 
Yes. Okay. It is done. The door closes nicely. It's a little tight, I'm not gonna lie, but it lines up nice. This, once this tightens in, it'll be okay. Uh, can't do this until the back bumper's done. And once again, there's a nice finger width gap right here. Well, not nice, but, and it gets tighter, just like over here on this side. At least it's symmetrical. So, but that's the only like real major panel gap. Uh, this is normal. That's normal panel gap from the car. I didn't check this side. All right, this one's at a little bit of an angle. But it's not that bad. It still kind of goes with the car. That side is a little higher right there than the trunk. But that's not that bad. It could be so much worse. Everything went together. I had a little issue with this uh, light here. I was moving too quick and uh, got it stuck in there. So I basically ended up having to just tighten it. And it, and it went down and it, it tightened up and it, it looks okay now but i almost shattered this thing putting too much pressure on it but uh yeah this looks great this looks great so i think i, I think i'm gonna go ahead and end it off right here this will be a two-part video um fenders number one bumper number two and uh and we'll continue from there and then i'll have the finishing shot for the car when it's all done but i'm pretty happy i'm pretty happy how this turned out so this is actually very exciting because i've been trying to do oh hello hello Edgar! hey buddy hi hi <laughs> i know pollen I know. What's up, Justin? Uh, social distance. Social distance. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, uh, maybe I'll be able to get the bumper done today, but it'll be in the next video. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. It's time to eat. Y'all have a good one.